Hello and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program episode. This is episode 8 and we are continuing our build of the Kerbal Space Station. And today this is going to be post commentary because these rendezvous take some time and watching me messing around for 25 minutes just docking one small thing got kind of boring so I thought I would speed it up to four times um, time acceleration and then I would talk to you guys later. So yeah, this is my docking array. We will use this to dock uh, spacecraft, crew capsules or um, equipment that we are going to send to different planets. So yeah, this is an important piece and we're just bringing it closer to the space station. So we're about two kilometers away and we're going to use the space tug to pull it the last distance, but I wanted to use the fuel tank to get as close as possible. So we're just burning slowly, manipulating our relative and rel relative velocity to bring ourselves closer. And I almost overshoot this, but we get pretty close. So uh yeah that um, is bringing it into the last couple of hundred meters i want to bring it uh like 200 meters away and then we're going to deploy the space tug and collect this thing so yeah retracting the solar panels so we don't uh, ruin them by mistakes mistake and deploying the Space duck, just sending it slowly towards the duck. And uh, yeah, we used the space tug in the last episode, and we still have plenty of fuel in the list, and making sure the engine is still turned off. And I have to say that uh, this space tug that I just used a couple of minutes putting together is a lot better than the first one I spent a whole day of making. So yeah, pretty happy with this space tug. It's big and maneuverable and pretty powerful. So yeah, connecting to our docking port. And yeah, later I have planned to, uh, or, or my plans for this space station is to it to be a scientific place for the Kerbals. But I also want to use it as a refueling station and um, temporary uh, resting, or not resting place, but docking spot for... Uh, for equipment that we are sending to deep space so yeah refueling the uh, monor mopellant or rcs fuel just to fill up the tanks but uh, the tug has used very little fuel and uh, yeah so i'm not sure how i'm going to do this because the developers has said that uh, resources will come in uh, future updates um, that uh, you can collect uh, resources on the moon and different planets and make fuel and oxidizer out of them. Uh, originally I had planned to use the Keythane mo uh, mod to um, drill and find uh, some Keythane, but I'm not sure how long it will take for the developers to include it, and I'm not sure if it will be an update that will break my save. So I'm probably going for the um, Keythane mod, that's what I'm thinking right now. But yeah, approaching the station and just finding that um, docking port. And I was so happy with this docking, it went almost 100% perfect. I will, um, I'm making one huge mistake though, but I'm not going to tell you what it is until it's completely obvious so yeah we're getting closer and closer to the station and it's dead center right on the target where I want to get it or that was what I thought I wanted to but yeah bringing it in just very carefully the last bit into the station and docking so yeah, I was really happy looking at it and seeing, yeah, perfect angle, 45 degrees as I wanted. Oh wait, the solar panels are on this side. It's supposed to be on the other side. 
So yeah, I docked it on the wrong side of the station. So yeah, I did this a little too late. I should probably have gone to bed instead of doing this. So yeah, I was a little frustrated and this ne next docking goes a little bit quicker because I was a little annoyed and I really, really wanted to go to bed by this time. So yeah, back to the Keithay mob. The Keithay mob we can go to, I think maybe we are going to build a station around the moon or Minmus. I'm thinking of Minmus because it takes less delta V to go back and forth. And if we want to bring fuel from one body back to Kerbin, we probably want to use the one we save uh, most fuel from so we get uh, the most efficiency out of it and uh, That would probably be Minmus. So I'm thinking of going to Minmus and start um, Looking for Keithane in the next couple of episodes But uh, yeah, we'll see so yeah the station uh, knocked it so it started spinning but trying to get back and I'm a little bit annoyed that I messed this up and uh, I was so happy with the first docking and then this docking comes along and yeah it's it's not perfect it's off it's way off but yeah I was tired <laughs> and I left it at that so yeah that's uh, where our docking port is now so to get rid of all the debris I want to keep my space as clean of debris as possible we are sending this retrograde down to the surface. And yeah, keeping keeping space clear of debris is challenging at sometimes. You have to plan your missions a little bit ahead. Like um, this mission, I almost forgot batteries on this. And that would have meant that it would be left there. So yeah, next module, uh, we'll see a fairing deployment right now. Uh, this will be our living quarters. So fairings deploy and there we get our first look at it. So yeah, these are inflatable rings from the Nautilus pack of Bobcat Industries, I think. And it's just two inflatable ring um, rings that we can detach to the top of the station and uh, will make it um, possible for our kerbals to have great space to maneuver around and live in and actually I done some research on this to see if this is something they have been thinking about in the real world and I don't remember how many years I think it was two or six years they have had these inflatable living compartments floating around in space to see if it would be safe to connect to the um, International Space Station. So this isn't completely as far-fetched as it might look. And they're actually quite smart because you just build the other drawers and everything you want around, around and then you can inflate the whole thing and build a bigger... Uh, or you can save space on how much you bring up and you'll get this huge living space. And as we all know, bringing stuff up into orbit is quite heavy and takes a lot of fuel and power. And if you go and look at the um, Mars 1 mission, the mission by private sector to go to Mars, they have included or they are thinking about uh, inflatable living sections for their colony but yeah deploying the tug again this will be the tug's uh, mundane everyday job going back and forth and back and forth and picking up these pieces and connecting them to the station that's uh, what it's made for and uh, yeah i am um, I'm getting a little bit worried about lag. I haven't noticed anything yet, but um, it suddenly hit me while I was doing this that some of these mods are quite heavy and uh, they might 
make my station or it might have to be that I have to reconsider my uh, plans of building a huge station out of this so we'll see I want to keep the lag uh, at um, well the lag has to be so that we can use the station in the future because this is this is not going to be a looking state just a station to look at but it's also going to be a station to use and we're going to use it every day it's going to be uh, the first bus stop if you like on the way to different places in space but yeah we're approaching the station and soon connecting this and uh, yeah this will be a little shorter episode than normal I thought this would be quite long this is about an hour of recorded gameplay but after I sped it up it turned out to be quite a lot shorter but yeah next mission we are sending up uh, the crew and uh, hopefully I have something big sending uh, for you guys the next time uh, we'll see uh, if I can get it into orbit but um, I'm trying and let's see how it all turns out so I hope you enjoyed this episode and looking forward to seeing the continuation of our space station so have a nice day and wearing storm signing off